hear ye, hear ye, this is Lord Potato, and this is What If Naruto Was Trained by Hidon, part, well, six, no, not six, seven, 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 this is part seven, not six, part six was last time, uh, not the point, I'm sorry, I keep burping, I'm sorry about that, but, uh, what's it called? I should mention that I was going to record this at somewhere earlier, I think like at 7 or 6. I fell asleep and I woke up at like 8 something, but yeah. Oh shit, I gotta go get something. Well, but not the point. I woke up, um, did I dream about doing this what if after doing the, well, watching the rewatch and all that? Uh, no, I fell asleep. Then I actually did dream about it. And then I just had an idea when I woke up. So, not the point, let me shut the fuck up. I don't know why, but let's do it. <laughs> don't know what I'm going on, but I'm just going crazy half the damn time. But yeah, not the point. Let me begin. Uh, uh yeah, let's go. So, we go into, well, uh, Naruto and Luna and Lucy being all there in that room. And also, Sylvan and, well, Sylvan's trying to protect Naruto from any, like, force marriage. And, of course, Lucifer being there. Of course, Lucifer sends a pressure down straight towards, uh, what's it called? Sylvan to kind of, like, push him down to kind of, uh, dominate him. From the fact to actually letting Naruto do this. Of course, this is where, well, Sylvan didn't give up on his will. And, of course, this is where he starts sending medals at, well, uh, Lucifer. Of course, Lucifer dodges some of the medals and appear right in front of, well, uh, what's it called? Sylvan to try to punch him in the face. Of course, Sylvan makes a metal wall to try to block it, but of course, the punch just goes through it and almost hit, uh, hits Sylvan in the face. Sylvan manages to just jump away, of course, making a silver sword and a golden sword. He rushes out well, Lucifer, right now knowing that the gold is kind of a weak ass metal, but he has it because fuck it. He tries to cut at, well, Lucifer with the gold sword. Of course, this is where Lucifer says, you know, gold is a pretty weak metal. This is where uh, Silver says, I know that. He throws a golden sword at Lucifer. Lucifer catches it and says, <laughs> you really don't understand about your metals, do you? This is where Silver actually then uses the silver to, to cut at him. This is where, well, Lucifer uses the golden metal to block it, but this is where when they both clash, uh, Silver made a titanium sword out of nowhere and almost hit was a car. Well, uh, Lucifer. Lucifer dodges that and says, I'm guessing you do know titanium is also a strong metal. Both silver and titanium aren't aren't that equal. And gold is the weakest. Hmm. I'm seeing that you actually know about your metals. Good, good. Well, let's see if he can still defeat me. This is where, oh, they're both fighting and clashing into swords. Of course, gold is actually becoming more and more, like, bent it. But, yeah. Of course, this is where Sylvan is trying to, well, fight against Lucifer and not try to die and not lose. And accidentally making Naruto be forced marry and all that. Oh. This is where, oh, Sylvan actually tries to use all his medals. And, of course, rushes at Lucifer. And Lucifer says, hmm, I should stop. Acting weak, shouldn't I? The golden sword that he still has right now in his hand, right now glows with this reddish color, making the sword much sharper and making it have a reddish aura. <clears throat> this is where Lucy winds her eyes and says, Fuck! This is where, well, Lucifer sends the sword straight, well, mostly he get, just swings it once in front of him, and this is where, well, a like red slash appears, right now rushing, ripping through all the silver and like metal swords and all them other types. And of course, almost about a hit, well, uh, Sylvan. This is where Naruto winds his eyes and says, Brother! This is where, well, he transforms into lightning and appears right in front of, well, Sylvan. Right now, crackling with what's it called, well, this black lightning. This is where he says, Black lightning style! He smashes it upon, well, what's it called? Well, he says, Black white lightning strike! This is where, well, he smashes into the uh, slash and actually breaking it. This is where, well, Sylvan was actually tired from the fact that all his weapons were destroyed because he lost he lost a good uh, amount of his chakra. Of course, this is where, well, Lucifer says, Tch. Interesting. Are you going to take on his role? Uh, what's it called? Naruto? This is where 
He said, Naruto kun? It's not Naruto. You're not hurting my brother. It's not someone say, Naruto, stop this. This is where, well, this is where it says, hmm, sure. I'll let you take on your brother's role. This is where, well, someone says, he's not taking on his brother's role. Someone walk, like, behind, well, not walk, mostly appear through a crack of rift, a portal. This is where is Joshi. This is where, well, White also appears behind Joshi, and of course, this is where No Name also appears. When No Name appears with, an, well, two guards of Nightmare. These nightmares are not demons, but they're from a, n a different world. Of course, White knows about this, and um, Joshin did smack him in the head for being an idiot, not warning him about no name being the kind of princess of nightmare. But yeah, there's two uh, there's two kind of species in the underworld. There's the demons and the like twelve forbidden clans and the uh twelve well, thirteen noble clans, uh. There's also the Nightmare, which are dif uh, different species from demons because they are a little bit intelligent and are able to copy those that are humans, demons, or angels. They can copy their forms, but it would be like a negative karma uh, version of them. So yeah. Of course, there's two Nightmare versions, and they two, those two that are right now next to no name are basically like these two beings one is an angel one is a kind of fallen angel now they have the negative version but yeah of course it worked well is that happening no name says naruto she rushes up to naruto and hugs him this where naruto say uh, no name uh big sis no name that's where our, no name says are you okay naruto says yeah his hand is actually having a little cut and naruto says uh, this is where huh? no name starts healing it by kind of asking one of her kind of uh, nightmare uh, angels to kind of come over here to start healing Naruto, but yeah. Naruto is smiling, but yeah. Now, there's also two things about different about the underworld and also, well, uh, the upper world. The underworld doesn't actually use chakra completely. It's actually all about this magic. Almost all of them uses magic, except for Naruto, Silbin, and even White. Well, White actually uses magic. Silvan actually uses chakra and Naruto also the same. Now, of course, it worked well. There might also just contain of their own abilities because they were born with it, but yeah. Just chakra helps them actually upgrade, uh, was it upgrade the power much better. Same with magic, but yeah. Of course, it worked well. Everyone in the up upper world, meaning that not heaven itself, mostly the living world, the immortal world, they all use chakra. But in heaven, they all use magic. So yeah, that's how the power system is right now. But of course, since Naruto and Silver are half demons, they are now able to allow to use magic, but it's mostly demonic magic. But yeah, there's heavenly magic, well, holy magic, and demonic magic, Naruto and Silver, since they become, well, in this world for a while, they become demonic. But yeah, Silver should have become more demonic since he was 16, and it's four years has passed, but really he's only like 50%. And of course for Naruto, he's actually only like 25%, but yeah. But of course they don't show to have, have any demon features, but yeah. Of course they were, whoop, Josh can say, so Lucifer, why did you kid I'm one of my newest heir? This is what, whoop, <laughs> Lucifer laughs and say, oh, you know, I wanted him to kind of me his new brides you know i know you always wanted to well force marriage was call your heirs into marriage and i know that well sylvan's a little too old to go after any other heirs in a noble class i just wanted to have them reunite uh reunited since you know the forbidden and the nobles don't like each other josh and says and why would i accept to that deal because don't you think about it Having strong heirs, wouldn't that be good? No, I hate you anyway. Yes, sir. Next person says, "Come on, Joshin, see the big picture. We reun, we reunite, reunion, the forbidden and well, the noble clans together. All thirteen noble clans and all uh twelve forbidden clans. Sure, there might be forbidden, uh, well, forbidden clan females heirs. The Naruto could." go after 
But think about the Nova ones. Wouldn't that be good? Besides, they would all be the similar age of what Naruto Kun is at. Either 12 or 13. This is where, well, Lucifer has this evilish grin on his face. Well, mostly, yeah, this kind of like uh, evilish kind of grin. Lucifer doesn't, uh, well, not Lucifer, Joshin seems to kind of have a stoic face. This is where, well, Lucifer then, uh, like, uh, what's it called? Smack his fingers? Well, mostly, not smack. Uh, snap his fingers? And this is where, well, these kind of four people appear. They're mostly from noble clans, but of course, this is what they look like. This kind of ice demon kind of appears. Well, she has like these blue horns, white hair, kind of turk, uh, kind of like tealish eyes that are kind of black and all that. And of course, she's wearing this, but yeah. Of course, she also has like this fox mo uh, mask near her, but yeah. Of course, this is where, well, she's one, uh, she's someone from the 12, uh, not 12, 13 noble clans. And of course, this is where. Then there's this one. She's also from the uh, 13 uh, noble clans. Of course, her name is... Well, the first one was named... Um, her name is Maya. And of course, this is where the other one was named Yuki. But yeah. This is where the f uh, third one was named Kuraimi. So this is what she would look like. But yeah. This is where the fourth one was named Aka X. It's because of her red eyes, she's actually from just, her last name is just X, but yeah. But this is where, well, she kind of has a cold glare towards Naruto. And of course, unimpressed from Naruto, but yeah. This would be kind of the fifth kind of member of, well, the kind of noble uh, clan family. But yeah, her name is Kitsune. But yeah. Of course, this is where, well. Of course, this is where, well. Sorry about that. Some of them are looking at Naruto, either with this kind of evilish smile, lustful smile, or just this kind of glare. Like, well, the girl with kind of red crosses in her eyes, mostly X's, but yeah. Aka. This is where, oh, Naruto says, what the hell? This is where, well, someone says, don't you fucking dare agree to that, you bastard. He looks at Joshin. Joshin looks at him and says, who's the one right now fighting against Lucifer? This is where, well, and someone says, fucking me. No, it would be uh, Naruto. So, Naruto, do you agree to this? And this is where Lucifer has this kind of evilish smile. And also, even though you can't see Joshin's smile, he kind of has this little crack of a grin. This is where, well, Naruto sees Sylvan. And this is where, well, he then just thinks about it and says that he agrees with Sylvan. Even though he doesn't know much about love or anything, he just agrees because he doesn't want forced marriage to happen. So, of course, it worked well. Lucifer and even Joshin kind of like frowns a little bit. Mostly Joshin kind of still has a stoic face, but just just normal. And this is where Lucifer says, fine, 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 Naruto. I will agree with that if you can survive 60 seconds against one of my elite knights. It's a word. Well, Lucifer, uh, what? Joshin says, what? No, he's still it. It's a word. Well, we go into, well, somewhere kind of dark. Just a bunch of, like, pillars, but they're all, like, kind of white and all that. And this room is kind of white and black at the same time. It's a word. A giant being appears right now. Pretty being really big and all that. Of course, having demonic horns and, of course, having four eyes. This is where, well, he has also two mouths. He has a tail that has actually three like snakes on it. Of course, he's really ripping buff, having a huge sword. But yeah, of course, he's also having armor on him. But yeah, this is where well, he has about five horns. But yeah, this is where well, he roars at Nart. Nart just like shit. You can't be serious. I'm so fucked. This is where well, we go into kind of a watching room. This is where. All of the five noble females are right now just shocked and just dumbfounded that Lucifer will actually kind of put this person up against a very, not even an elite. This motherfucker is actually kind of like, almost to be like the right hand man of uh, Lucifer. Well, there's someone else who's much powerful, but what's it called? This is kind of, well, he's not close to becoming like the right hand man of uh, Lucifer. He's actually like the 
back spine O because you see here, a Lucifer has actually five generals, and this guy is actually the back spine of Lucifer. There's the right hand, the left hand, the left leg, the right leg. There's actually five generals. So he just calls, uh, well, he has. But yeah, this guy is kind of like the fifth person, but he's kind of ranked third if you want to think about it. But yeah, this is where, well, it's just expected. This is not an elite. And they think that Lucifer is going way too far. They certainly see even thinks that her father is going way too far. And Luna right now wind her eyes and say, Naruto. She can sense a dense magic. Even though Naruto can probably sense a demonic magic because he has never trained in demonic magic. He only been training in chakra and the only person that helped him in chakra was both, well, uh, White and Sylvan. Because they were never expecting him to actually use demonic magic too early because, well, he barely got it. So, of course, he cannot sense the, well, density of this present being. <laughs> this being a full demon, so yeah. This is where, well, Naruto says, oh, fuck, I'm not going to survive that. He's right now scared. Right now frozen in fear. This is where, well, we go into Joshi looking at Lucifer with this evilish grin. Uh, oh, not evilish grin. It's just evil fucking glare, like this pissed off glare. White just kind of looks at this shocked and even no name no name actually wants to help her like kind of little brother figure because she sees uh naruto that much she loves naruto because well naruto's very cuddly and cute at the same time but yeah of course it worked well she's right now glaring at white well not white entirely she's actually glaring at lucifer this is where, well, Lucifer told Nona not to step in, and none of the Joshins neither. Or, they will have to start war of a forbidden, well, clan and noble clan matter. But yeah, and she won't be able to be allowed to help White or anyone. But yeah, because her, well, well, Nightmare clan and all that will actually be eradicated. You see, the reason why uh, Nona isn't stepping in is because she's the princess of, well, the Nightmare. And if she allows her, well, nightmare people to kind of go into this war, it'd be terrifying. She, because she's the only kind of remaining royalty member of the nightmare family. Well, royalty uh, nightmare family. But yeah, her mother kind of died at an old age. But yeah, and even her father kind of died during some kind of attack from a demonic rogue. But yeah. But of course, this is where, well, she's kind of not trying to move in. This is where somebody's like, no, this is bad. He's right now trying to get up, but why is telling him to stop? This is where, well, we go into, well, Naruto fighting against this uh, third rank demonic uh, figure. This is where he's trying to dodge and using his lightning, but of course he can't because ha this big ass being, he might look big, but he's not slow. He's extremely fast, and even Naruto using his lightning can't dodge half the its attacks. So of course he can dodge a sword and all that, but he can't dodge a fucking kick to the stomach. He actually smashes some of the ribs actually smash into his stomach, mostly kind of puncturing something and having him internal bleeding. This is where Naruto's coughing up blood, and this is where well he looks up, and the only thing that he has to survive is for sixty min uh, not sixty minutes, about. Well, 60 seconds, one minute entirely. This is where, well, Naruto thinks about this being hell because there's no way in hell he's actually defeat this thing or even survive this thing. So, of course, this is where, well, Lucifer is watching this with kind of nothing in his eyes. It's empty as hell. This is where, well, these four, well, mostly these other four generals are actually watching this next to Lucifer. And they're actually shocked to even believe that Lucifer decides to put one of the Forbidden Children in one of the youngest, actually, in the Forbidden uh, Children, like, area and all that, to fight one of the kind of elite and one of their own kind of members of their general and all that. This is where, well, this general doesn't actually hold back. The third rank general never holds back. So, of course, he's right now kicking and punching at Naruto. Naruto's being like beating on and all that stuff, smashing to the wall, kicking to the wall. Of course, where the general tries to use his sword, but the sword did get cut thanks to Naruto using white lightning. Of course, where the general got mad and of course was enraged, punching and kicking Naruto, smashing him down and down and down. Now, Naruto was right now on his kind of like, like what's it called? His body was all just on the ground. Of course, he was bleeding and of course he still had internal bleeding and other things. 
bones felt like all crack and all them other stuff. Yeah, so what? Well, Lucifer says so. He didn't survive. So it's interesting that he survived for 45 seconds. This where Naruto's getting back up and saying, I, I'm not giving up. <coughs> He's coughing up blood. This is where the third general says, You should have stayed down. You should have listened to Lord Lucifer. It's a work. Well, Superman tries to get up because he's right now in fucking rage. He's just seen his little brother be beating the fuck out of him. He's right now in all pissed off and rage. He's actually about to use his silver and metal to break through the glass. But of course, when he does that, it just bounces off of him. Well, it must he bounce off the glass. This is where Lucifer says, You can try all you want. That glass would be uh, indestructible. It's invincible. You can never break it. I swear, Silver says, You fucking bastard. Silver then looks at White and says, White, fucking help me. I swear, White is kind of frozen because he's just seen his little brother just being beaten the shit up. No name wants to attack, but she can't. She knows that her people would be destroyed if she does anything. I swear, well, the Jar General kind of walks up to Naruto and says, you're a dead kid. You keep going. But I guess you just want to die. It's where, well, Naruto sees this man putting his fist back. And of course, sending a punch right towards Naruto's face. And of course, it's where, well, some of the five, well, like, five noble family uh, heirs, like heiresses, right now close their eyes because they weren't actually watching this. They're just seeing a fucking murder. This is where Lucy's eyes, she just closed it because she was shocked. This is where, well, Luna says, Naruto! This is where, well, the punch smashes into Naruto. Naruto smashes into the wall because he was just on ground near two pillars, but of course he smashes into a wall right now and dented to it. This is where Naruto's eyes goes into lifeless. This is where, well, the general says, You should have not taken my sword, you little brat. You taken out my fair weapon to use on humans. Uh, we go into Naruto. Naruto can't use Kurama because Kurama is unable to actually help him. This is where, well, even if he tried, he couldn't because he was actually so off by Lucifer. This is where, well, we go into Naruto. We go into a younger version of Naruto. Right now, the 12 year old version is right now experiencing a ghost, seeing all the bad memories of his childhood, being be beaten up by people. On a daily basis, being thrown out, poisoned, stabbed, murder, punched, killed, whatever. He was just being stabbed over and over. He's seen all his life. Ever since he was a baby, all the way since he was kind of growing up. Of course, every day, just bully. Showing that he's nothing but a weak piece of trash. Everyone keeps hurting him. Nothing ever. He could never do anything. He was punched, kicked, smashed to the ground, slammed to the ground. Of course, ninjas use just fireball, water style, herb style, lightning style, not wind style because there was not many people using wind style on that. Of course, different uh, techniques of their clan techniques, just using him as target practice. Naruto wanted to die multiple times. He always thought of suicide, but he could never because thanks to the Hokage keeping him in an eye. Well, see, an eye situation just so he wouldn't die and he would keep the nine tails. But yeah. Of course, it worked. Well, Naruto, even when he became nine years old, he was actually chased out of the village by so many people until he met, uh, John, uh, well, not Joshin, Lucifer, uh, not, pff, not Lucifer, Hedon. Fuck, fuck, I'm fucking in my words. Hedon, and of course, Hedon was the person to give him light and hope. Of course, Lucifer, uh, not, uh, what's it called? Lucifer, Hedon was always there helping him out, training him. This is where... He was the only one to actually show him to be kind of like this older brother figure or this father figure. He pretty much was happy with Hiron. He didn't really want to join the test and other things, but Hiron wanted him so he can become a successor of well, Hiron's. And he didn't want to make Hiron sad or anything. So of course he tried. He then got adopted. He just seen all of this. He met well both White and well Sylvan. They were like actual big brothers to him. Something that he never had. He never actually had anyone in his whole life. He was always alone. So sad and dark. It's where Naruto is just seeing all of this. He's crying. He knows that this is the end for him. He's dead. 
knowing him. Hell. I swear, well, something happens. Something crackles around him. I swear something appears in front of him. This being unknown to anyone. I swear, well, this being is right now talking to Naruto in this kind of rough, raspy, kind of electronic voice. Saying, do you want help? If you want help, then I can help you. We are both the same. Pain, suffering, all them things. Do you want to get rid of everything? Destroy those that hurt you. We are the same. Come closer. We will fuse. Is it right? Well, Naruto say, who are you? Is it right? Well, Naruto doesn't have any choice. And so he kind of gets closer towards his being. This is where Naruto kind of, instead of grabbing him by the hand, he just hugs him. This is where, well, this being turns out to be himself, but the darker version. This is where, well, he fuses with his darker version. And this is where, well, something explodes from the outside. Laughter is hearing outside of this world. Mostly, well, mostly outside. And so the dark general is like, so you're not deaf? <laughs> You only hear in the background. <laughs> Naruto's just laughing like a madman, like if his mind broke down. This is where, well, Naruto's eyes are no longer the same usual bluish color. Or just like purplish and black. <laughs> his eyes becomes this kind of slick color, but mostly, not even slick, it looks to be a cross. An, uh, kind of like, what's it called, Akka's like X cross. It looks to be that, but an actual like, uh, like a plus sign. It looks like what's it called, Morty Jim's eyes, or think about like margin. But of course, it's just white. This is where, well, around the, uh, that cross and all that, it's crackling with this like lightning. This unknown type of lightning is kind of like fused. It looks to be like negative lightning. This is where Naruto's body is crackling with also negative lightning. This is where, well, his eyes also just became fully black and all that. And this is where, well, Naruto then had these horns made out of lightning. This is where, well, Naruto's laughing. <laughs> this is where Naruto's hair became much longer. This is where, well, it's gray and, uh, what's it called, red? Well, it's just like dark gray and this dark red. <laughs> Naruto's just laughing. This is where, well... Naruto, the dust started kind of like fading away from the explosion that he actually made. And this is where, well, the Dark General is like, fine, I will have to just kill you. He grabs the half kind of like cut blade and rushes at Naruto right now, running at him, just stomping the ground and all that. And this is where the four generals kind of ask Lucifer if this was a good idea. And this is where, before even they say anything, this giant being gets kicked away and smashed into multiple pillars. This is where Naruto appears saying, DIE! <laughs> Naruto smashes a punch into this giant being, smashing him to the ground, destroying the ground in an engine. This is where the being tries to grab Naruto, but this is where Naruto blocks it with his hand. And right now, crushing this man's hand. <laughs> Naruto's right now grinning like this madman, like his, he just went insane. He accepted his true self. He knows that he's nothing but just a demon of being a mass destruction. <laughs> this is where, well, Naruto then just like fucking axe kicked this like uh, giant being back down to the ground. Much further, crushing the ground, making the ground intent. Naruto's losing it. <laughs> this is where, well, Naruto then makes his lightning like uh mostly we'll this hand, mostly we'll this left hand. He goes it into like a karate chop motion, but this is where it right now crackling away lightning. He jumps up in the air and he just cuts this like a uh, uh, tall bean into his legs, basically cutting off his legs. Just swinging it once down and just cut down. This is where the giant bean is screaming in rage. Right now lifts himself up with his arms, but his arms are actually cut off. This is where Naruto's right now in the air, right now flipping and all that. This is where wings made out of lightning up here. <laughs> this is where Naruto's laughing right now, flying up in the air. And of course, this is where Naruto, he makes his ball dense. Right now, this like lightning ball appear right in his hand. But of course, it becomes huger than that being. Naruto's laughing, saying, 
how people see me as a being a mass destruction, then I show them all the mass destruction being I am. <laughs> Naruto's laughing with this evilish grin. <laughs> this will work. Well, Naruto then sends the lightning ball straight down towards the third general. This is where Lucifer and Josh and Wine are eyes. They didn't actually see how powerful Naruto become. And this is where White and, well, Silver and Right now were in their eyes. And this is where, well, that third general was wiped out from the fucking face of the fucking world. He is gone. There's no bones. Those bones become ashes in an instant. And Naruto laughs down. <laughs> Not laughing at Madman. <laughs> Naruto grabs his face and kind of pushes his hair up. <laughs> Narch is laughing. The glass that was in front of them actually did blow up with the mass force of the power. It was just like so much, think of like so much TNT and just blowing up in front of you. That's how much it was just like, it was like 10 zillion TNT explosion of dynamo, okay? And of course, this is where, well, the glass shatters into a million pieces. The door also, there was a door there that was just, there was a big door and a small door, but really, it was mostly a small door. And of course, that door just blows off his hinges. This room should have been indestructible. and should have been taken, just destroyed and all that. Well, it wasn't indestructible, but the third general was just very powerful. Now, now we're just actually on top of the third general. <coughs> this is where, well... Naruto's laughing. Of course, he goes up to the kind of like blade that he did cut down with his white uh, lightning and all that. He grabs a big blade and of course he melts off some of the metal. Right now making it into his own blade like a katana. That's where Naruto's laughing. <laughs> this is where, well, Joshin and Lucifer doesn't know what to do because, well, it seems Naruto's mind is not that stable. This is where Joshin didn't expect Naruto's mind to just fully break. This is where, well, Silver says, Naruto! Naruto's laughing. This is where he grins. This evilish kind of creepy grin at Sylvan. This is where, well, he looks at all of them right now saying, Who is Naruto? All I am is a god of destruction. <laughs> god of chaos, you can call me. <laughs> this is where Naruto's just the mouth keeps widening. This is where, well, before anything happened, he tries to go forward. But this is where, well, lightning is right now crackling around him. This is where, well, the lightning isn't hurting his body. This is where Sylvan actually notices. Usually the lightning, the negative lightning, would have hurt his body most of the time. This is where before he's unable to go there, a white spirit appears. This is where, well, this white spirit kind of touches Naruto on the forehead. And then pushes him down, kind of like gently. Of course, this is where the white spirit appears to kind of letting Naruto lay down on this person's leg. Or mostly it's like a ghost figure. But yeah, Naruto falls kind of asleep. He no longer has the negative lightning around him. Instead, he just passes out. This is where, well, he's right now sleeping peacefully. This is where, well, Joshi wide widen his eyes and realize who this is. This is someone that, well, he didn't really mention towards, well, the three children that he had. Because the reason why he only could adopt children is because he couldn't really have a child with his wife when his wife is actually a spirit. So yeah, Joshin kind of fell in love with the spirits because you see here, there's actually different types of species in the demonic world and of course, spirits are there, but yeah, of course the spirits was, well, very chaotic and very lovely at the same time to anyone. Of course, it worked. well, Joshin tried, well, he knows that he can't have a child with her, so of course, he just had to adopt children. Of course... He thought his wife went to sleep for a million years until he adopted children. This is where when he adopted Sylvan, he thought she would wake up, didn't wake up. Adopted White, she didn't wake up until there. And then, well, adopted Naruto and realized she probably wouldn't wake up anytime soon. So, of course, he tries to care for all three of the children by himself. As best as he can, but he could really never. He could really never be as best as his wife. His wife was the most gentle, kind woman in this one entire underworld. Well, he actually thinks the entire universe. She was nice, gentle, kind, and loving and caring, like a like a mother figure. This is where, well, he tries his best. That's why he tried to force marry well some of his kids off. 
because he wanted to see if he could find the right one for either, well, Sylvan or Naruto. He already knew that White Tashi has been seeing No Name for a while, and of course, he tried to direct White away from No Name, but of course, could never because, well, they fell in love so easily because of their kind of personality, but yeah. Of course, he tries, he knew that Naruto was still a child, and he tries to just find Naruto so unsuitable. Of course, Naruto still acted like a kid, but he just wanted to see if he would be mature enough. He heard how Naruto is kind of stable but unstable at the same time, and now he's just seen this for the first hand. Right in front of him, Naruto slaughter one of the third generals without a care in the world when he lost, well, when he lost his mind. He did get punched in the face, by the way. So, of course, that had something else to do, he thought. This is where Lucifer realized that one of his third generals are just destroyed. This is where the other four generals, we'll see the first, second, third, uh, well not third, fourth and fifth were wide in their eyes. This is where the fourth and fifth realized that, God damn! This is where they kind of called the third general, Harbian, Harbian! This is where, well, they were just shocked. This is where the noble females were kind of shocked and how powerful Naruto was. This is where, well, Naruto's asleep right now, kind of holding on to this ghost figure. This is where, well, Joshin kind of lands down to the ground. This is where, well, Joshin says, he kind of like starts talking and says her name. This is where Joshin says, Sinshin. This is where Sinshin, the spirit's name, looks up and turns around and sees Joshin and gives this dirty, evil look at him. Well, not evil, mostly this dirty, anger look. At will rage look at Joshin. This is where well Joshin steps back for a little bit, but this is where Sylvan walks up without a care in the world if she's glaring, having this pressure, this demand kind of pressure and all that. Of course, smashing upon uh, Joshin, and it's just smashing upon anyone. Of course, Sylvan kind of walks forward without a care in the world and kind of just sits down, uh, putting his knees down first, and of course, seeing Naruto if he's fine. This is where well. Sien, Sienna, who, well, I'm gonna just call it Sienna, kind of just grabs uh, Sylvan and kind of just puts his head near her head. Of course, this is where, well, she's actually able to do this because she can physically go intangible or not tangible, but yeah. This is where, well, of course, she can kind of touch him, and of course, this is where Sylvan says, Who are you? This is where Sienna says, Oh, I'm her mother. I was supposed to be your adopted mother. Anytime that Joshi adopted kids, I just grew and grew more happier, thinking that I would be able to have three young boys being able to take care of. I'm sorry that I wasn't there for you, Sylvan. I just wanted more kids. You know, just I wanted to be a mother. I wanted to be a mother to three beautiful young boys. That's why, well, not beautiful, mostly handsome young boys. That's where Sylvan smiles a little bit. That's where, well, she says, but... I kind of fell a little bit. Right now, Naruto's body is unable to kind of wake up for a little bit. I don't know if I'll be able to stable his mind. Sylvan kind of sat in a little bit, but yeah. Joshin's kind of getting pushed a little bit, but this is where it will. No name kind of rushes past a Joshin, and of course, Joshin says, Are you kidding me? Why can't I get closer? This is where No name didn't care about the pressure and rushes toward. He's like, Naruto! This is where it will. Uh, why actually tries to get close, but of course he's getting pushed back a little bit also by, well, not even his kind of adopted mother is mostly no name kind of pushing him back and glaring at him for the stupidity in what he did most of the time because, well, he might have been, well, uh, not he mostly, but she just doesn't give a shit right now. She's right now angry and kind of taking out her anger onto a silver, but yeah, of course, it worked. well, so and I say, I see. You're going to be my daughter in law, aren't you? This is where No Name kind of blushes and say, No, I, I'm No Name. Nice to meet you. Sayon, this is where, well, Sayon says, Ah, you know about me. And this is where, well, No Name says, Of course, who wouldn't know? You're the most strongest spirit in the whole well, underworld. Of course, I wouldn't know. I, th I didn't think you were actually kind of be crazy enough to marry what Washington to use a psychopath. Yeah, I just noticed that. This is where, well, uh, but Sayana says, but I don't care. At least I have three, three children. <laughs> At least you are kind of putting down 
white in his place. This is where it white. Why can I get those? Oh, damn it. This is where it will. So it says, will he be fine? Well, I'm going to have to see that later on. Come on. This is where she kind of gets up and picks up Nard. Right now, having him around her. But yeah, well, mostly not around her. Mostly carrying him like a baby. But yeah. And of course, the where... Well, Sylvan follows his like mother figure. And of course, well, mostly adopted mother. And of course, the where... Well, uh, no name also follows her, well, mother-in-law. But yeah. Well, she just sees that, okay? She already sees it. She doesn't care. Of course, we go into a time skip about... Well... Three weeks later, and of course, Lucifer is not ruling over the kingdom because he's right now in a hospital bed, having all his bones broken to the fucking max. His wife beat the shit of him, and of course, made sure that he wouldn't be able to rule over the kingdom for about two weeks. Of course, Sayana knows who's the, what's it called, well, what's it called, the wife of Lucifer, and did tell her to beat the shit of her husband, which she did. Because you see here, Lucifer's wife was not there entirely. She went off to go to do something, but she did beat the shadow from the beginning. But she went to go do something. When she came back, she heard of all this shit. And of course, fucking made sure that he's in the hospital bed for about two weeks. Lucy was scared for her mother, but yeah. Of course, the four generals didn't do jack shit. They said, you're on your own, Lucifer, bye bye. <laughs> because they know they will get their asses beat, but yeah. This is what, well... She's right now just talking to Sayana. Now, her name is with a calm. Her name is Tasu, and of course, this is where, well, she beat the shit out of Lucifer, and Lucifer was right now in the hospital, but yeah. This is where, well, uh, Lucy was kind of laughing a little bit. <laughs> but yeah. Of course, this is where, oh. Tasu was right now talking to, well, Sayana, and of course, Sayana's talking to her. Of course, this is where, well, Lucifer and Joshin are nowhere near. Was it called the kingdom of, well, was it called the Joshings, but yeah. Of course, the word, well, Naruto is right now fine a little bit. He's kind of walking in crutches a little bit because his body was not able to handle that much, well, negative lightning because it did have a backlash if he uh, passes out. Well, not a backlash. It was mostly healing him a little bit, but it's showing a little bit of his bones and all that because he already had, well, his body fucked up from the third general in the first place. And that third lining didn't help him at all. The regeneration didn't really help him. Of course, it worked. well, he's kind of just walking in crutches for a second. But yeah, he's trying to be healed slowly but surely. This is where Sayana's presence actually do heal people who are in need of help. But yeah. This is where, well, Naruto is just being taken care of like Sayana. Now, of course, he's happy to have actually a mother figure. But yeah. Now, of course, this is where, well, Kurama's doing his best. He's right now working overtime to keep his host a fucking life. He is working fucking overtime. He is not sleeping until he helps Naruto's, like, with fucking body to just be healing the max. But, yeah, he's trying to get Naruto's body strong enough. But, yeah. Of course, Naruto has always been with his mother, but, yeah, for about two weeks and nowhere near Joshi. And when Joshi tries to talk to Naruto, Naruto kind of has... A very fear feeling from Joshi and also Lucifer if they come any near as our talks uh, well mostly let's go Tasso or even uh, was Kasayana appears to beat the shit out of their stupid ass husbands but yeah this is where well Naruto is just kind of always in his room either outside sometimes meeting up with the other forbidden clan kids and of course some of the other forbidden clan kids are right now in rage seeing Naruto pre Rally hurt and they really want to go to war and kill off the nobles because what the fuck are they doing? This is where, well, they know this because, well, the third general is actually from one of the noble clan family. Uh, the noble clan family that he was from, it was called just Warrior and all that. And this is where, well, Berserker, well, mostly one of the children who are from the Berserker family. Kind of always looking out after Naruto and all that. He was very friendly and peaceful. But when seeing Naruto being hurt from one of the Berserkers. He's right now, well, not Berserkers, Warriors. Because that's the Noble Clan family. This is where the Berserker is in rage. Just total rage. He He's just pumping himself up with just enough, well, what's called? Well, not enough. Just enough anger. So one time he sees one of the warrior fucks. He can't fuck them up. Of course, this is where the other, well, families of Forbidden were kind of also an angry fact. This is where Junko and even Esther were trying to heal Naruto as best they can because they also have 
healing magic, but yeah, it's not that great healing magic, but yeah. It's where Shayana did meet with the other Forbidden Clan kids, and of course, it's where, well, some of them already bowed down, seeing that, well, this is somewhat Naruto's adopted mother, but yeah. Or mostly the mother figured that Naruto's kind of adopted too, but yeah. But yeah. Most of them kind of noticed this, except for Joker. He did not notice this fully, and of course, he got the, the shit smack out of him by, well, Junko, but yeah. Of course, it worked. well, Naruto's laughing, but yeah. Of course, he hasn't smiled for a while because he's been really fucking hurt, and any time he laughs, it kind of hurts his ribs a little bit, but yeah. His ribs are still fully broken a little bit. Well, not that broken, but they're trying to be healed by Karama's chakra. And of course, all freaking, all his six ribs, like all the ribs were actually smashed to pieces. But yeah, it's slowly but surely being healed. So we go into a couple months later, but yeah. But of course, we go outside the world and of course the world is a little bit different. A year would actually pass because Naruto was kind of in the kind of uh, forbidden, uh, well, not forbidden, mostly in the forbidden area and all that. And a year has passed and of course Naruto has been celebrating with his mother, yeah. And of course, he means Sylvan. Now, of course, White has kind of also pinned there. And of course, he's actually also has Mary, what's it called? Well, uh, No Name, but yeah. Of course, it worked well. Sayana was very happy for No Name being the daughter in law because, yeah. Of course, Sayana only sees Naruto if he ever falls in love or anything. He should always find true love and not force love. But yeah, she only sees that for the best of her kids. Unlike Joshin, but yeah. This will work well. And Joshin has tried to get back into the family, but he will be killed by Sayana any damn time. If he tries to be anywhere near Naruto or Sylvan. He can be near White. She doesn't see that much of a problem. But of course, being anywhere near Naruto, she will murder. Being anywhere near Sylvan, she will also murder. But yeah. This is where Naruto and Sylvan has actually became closer in what was called relation of like Sylvan's, but yeah. This where Sylvan is still very overprotective from Naruto. Anytime any of the other kids were trying to hurt Naruto, he will fucking murder. But yeah, of course Naruto would try to stop him most of the time, but yeah. This is where Naruto has had it to be kind of kept, uh, because he's kind of very, very, uh, fractured and all that. He's very, like, uh, this where, well, not fractured, he's mostly, uh, what's it called? What was it? Uh... He's very easily to break for, well, past year, but yeah. Thanks to Kruger and was it called, uh, was it called? Someone else kind of, uh, kind of always getting angry at each other. And kind of being near Naruto, mostly the others had to kind of stop them from being anywhere near Naruto because Naruto's bones can easily break, but yeah. And of course, Superman made this clear to fucking Kruger and also, well, Metal Teeth. That if they do anything stupid near Naruto, he would have murdered them in an instant, taking out their metal out of their body and using it to beat the shit out of them. Which they shut the fuck up real fucking fast, but yeah. <sighs> of course, we go into a gear and Naruto's 13. Of course, Naruto's body was healed up. And of course, this is where, well, Naruto also has been drinking like this liquid that was actually able to kind of heal him also faster, but yeah. Also, his bones and other things has become much more stronger and much much more stronger in resistance towards negative lightning he can actually use see kind of frequently now a little bit but yeah of course the work well we go into naruto going outside for well the world for a second of course where he don't like hugs him because he heard of the pain and all that and what happened and of course he's just happy to see his kind of like Nephew because he's just going to have to be like the uncle of this family, but he's happy for Naruto, but yeah This is where Naruto says uncle Hidan Of course Sylvan also is outside the world for a second and of course the sunlight hurts his eyes. He's like son of a bitch But yeah, of course white isn't going outside, but yeah, this is what well uh, Hidan kind of pals down to uh, what's it called Lord Sylvan, but yeah Sylvan says I haven't even become a lord or a fucking clan head, but what the hell? Uh, the sunlight's hurting my eye. This is where, well, uh, Naruto says, are you okay? No, I'm not. This is where he puts on glasses, but yeah, now I'm better. This is where Naruto says, are you even able to see from that? Nope. Naruto sighs, but yeah. Of course, we go 
into, well, uh, heat on, just bringing Naruto and, well, Silver along, but yeah. But, before we go into any further, we go into Kakashi and Uncle. For being one year later, Kakashi and Uncle have made a name for themselves in, well, the land of Miss. By helping out the Revolution Army and actually getting the Miss Village into, well, upper running up. So, of course, meeting was it called, well, May, and of course, helping May and Shojuro and others to destroy Yagare, and of course, just where, well, Kakashi wiped out Yagare. He freaking mopped Yagare like if he was a mop now, but yeah, he basically mopped the floor with Yagare, but yeah. Of course, where, well, uh, Uncle Death frees a, a lot of people by using, what's it called, her kind of like looks and all that, but yeah, May was very happy for her boat, uh, well. They're not really called by Kakashi Hatake or even what's it called, Uncle Midorashi. Uncle kind of like took the name Boa, and of course, this is where Kakashi took the name Gojo, but yeah. So, of course, she was very happy for Gojo and uh, Boa, but yeah, she was just very happy for both of them. This is where, well, she can now start on her village and other stuff, and they actually still stayed because they had nowhere else to go. So, of course, they stayed in this village to help them out. Of course, where well the village was up and running in one year. That's where well, Gojo, also known as Kakashi, is still trying to look for his nephew. His well, what's it called? His little nephew named Naruto, because he hasn't seen him for one year, and he is just sad. But yeah, of course, the work well, uh, Uncle and well, Uncle has been using her snakes, but she can't find him. But yeah, of course, the work boat. Joshin, Naruto, and even Silver are actually going to the, well, the Miss Village to actually kind of like go after some like rogue ninjas or whatever because they know that there's a lot of rogue ninjas, mostly Hiran. He hasn't actually heard any information from that village, but yeah, thinking they're still in the war and all that. But yeah, they're just going there to kind of hunt and just kill and all that for Naruto to test out his powers. But yeah, he has been in what's called the Joshin place and being cooped up and all that. But yeah. I should also mention one thing. Luna has stayed in the kind of noble region, but yeah. This is where, well, Naruto is just happy and really relieved to kind of be outside and able to walk freely, but yeah, run, walk, and just be happy entirely. He also did train before coming back outside because he did gain some weight, but of course, just train just to lose that off. And of course, where, well, Naruto is just happy. He's happy to finally train and finally become stronger than ever. So, of course, this is where I'm going to leave it off for part 7 of this what if. Part 8 will probably be whenever, but you know you know the point. My schedule isn't that great, and I need to go do something real fast. But you know you know what? I just got to go do it. But other than that, have a nice potato day, potato night, potato day, potato day, potato day, and good night. Bye, and see you.